Well, the internet may have once seemed to be the stuff of science fiction, and another technology that was once fantasy is becoming reality, or virtual reality at least. Yes, virtual or augmented reality games are expected to generate $150 billion a year by 2020. That's according to one study. And as Mark New reports, Chinese entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley want a piece of this valuable virtual pie. When his son's bubble gun kept spilling, Li Fangwei had a vision of a cleaner and cheaper way to have fun. So how many you got? I got a lot. Though it looks oddly like an improv performance, this is actually the start of Realiteer, playing a virtual reality bubble shooting game called Germ Buster. I see virtual reality more like a casual thing. So say I have 10 minutes break, I can just take something, dive into virtual reality, have fun, like, like escape to virtual reality for 10 seconds and come back to real life. Realityer's $10 VR kit uses a cell phone camera to recognize patterns on a homemade controller, putting one's hand in the experience. Its educational games like Wizard Academy also provide valuable data on what users like. The bottom line is to learn what consumers want in VR, testing those uh, theories, learn their like consumer behavior in VR because it's so new. Also early in the field is Yu Sens, whose mobile technology Impression Pi creates both virtual reality and augmented reality, which is when fictional images are inserted into reality. We've seen virtual reality and we've seen augmented reality, but USENS is taking it one step further with something called super reality. Let's take a look. When I hit the time machine button, the terracotta warrior changes to its original color while I'm transported to the Qin Dynasty era. I can explore this cave, grab a sword, and then seamlessly return to reality. Most importantly, VR can allow people to realize their dreams, like, uh, something we can do in real life. We can experience something very costly to experience. Uh, VR is very powerful to change people's psychological state. In fact, when co-founder Ha An Lee's father told her he wished he could go to the moon, it inspired her to create this VR experience. After I finished it, I went to China. Uh, I went to his house and showed it to him and let him try it. He was very happy. I didn't know like there is such a thing called virtual reality he can make him feel like he, he was really in the moon and seeing all the s solar system around him and he was amazed. <laughs> As its products are now being shipped, USENS hopes its technology will help speed up the entire VR industry by bringing a you've got to try it to believe it experience to millions of users around the world. All right, cool. Mark New, CCTV, San Jose, California.